Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another new video of PowerPoint School. Today I'm going to show you how you can create this type of intro text animations in just PowerPoint. At first, I will show you how you can add a circular text box. So let's start. Here I have taken a slide with a dark background. Let's pick a text box. Before adding the text, I would like to change the font. Here I'm using this free font. You will get the font link in the description of this video. Let's increase the font size. Change the color to white and select center align. Now you can type your own text. Here we have added two lines in this text box but to transform these straight lines into a circular shape, go to shape format, click on text effect and from transform, select this circle option. After that we need to adjust the height and width with the same value. Then using the align tool, we can simply place the text box in the center middle of our slide. Also to remove any unnecessary gap, you can slightly drag this yellow dot and it can fix the problem. Let's zoom out, press ctrl D to make another copy of this circular text box. Increase the size from both sides and place it in the center middle of our slide. Change the text according to your content. In this way, I will add 4 more and in total we will have 6 text boxes in our slide. Now our next job is to create the gear shapes. To create wheels or gears, first I will add a hollow circle on our slide. Holding Ctrl Shift, drag it over here and place it in the center middle of our slide using the align tool. From shape fill, we can change the color and remove the shape outline. You can simply drag this yellow dot to the left to make it thinner. Place it in a way so that it can align in the middle of these two text boxes. By pressing Ctrl D, take another copy of this hollow circle, place it in the center middle of our slide. Holding Ctrl Shift, drag the one corner to make it bigger and then drag the yellow dot to adjust the thickness. In this way, we can add the other hollow circles and we will need total 5 of them. So next, we have to select all these 5 hollow circles. Press Ctrl C to copy and let's take a new blank slide. Press Ctrl V to paste them over here. Go to shape format and from merge shape select combine to make all these shapes into a single one. Now I'll pick a rectangle shape and let's create a straight thin line that can cover our hollow circles. Using the align tool place it in the center middle of our slide. Change its color from shape fill and remove the shape outline. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. Place the new one in the center middle of our slide. Holding shift key rotate it, press ctrl D to duplicate and holding shift rotate the new one. In this way we just need to duplicate and rotate the rectangle until we get something like this. Let's select all these rectangles one by one then go to shape format. From merge shape select combine. Holding ctrl button select these two shapes that we just have combined. From merge shape select fragment. And you'll get so many shapes but don't worry about it. I will delete some of these unnecessary shapes so that we can easily identify the exact shapes that we need. Simply holding control button select these shapes one by one and press the delete button from your keyboard to get rid of them. We just need these rectangles that we can use as wheels or gears for our intro slide. So holding the control button we need to select these shapes one by one from each section and then press ctrl G to group them together. In this way we have got 4 different groups of wheels. So select all these groups and press ctrl C to copy. And let's get back to your main slide and press ctrl V to paste it here. You can see the hollow circle and the group of shapes together looking like a wheel or gear whatever you say. Each text box is perfectly aligned inside the wheel and we no longer need this extra slide so you can just delete it. I will add two small circles in the center middle of our slide just to decorate. So here our design is ready and we can start adding animations. I will start with the text boxes. Let's select the first text box. From add animation select zoom. Keep this on click duration 1 second. We need to add another animation on this text box. Again from add animation select spin which is under emphasis. Set a start with previous, duration 15 second. Click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option. Here we need to select 360 degree counterclockwise. From timing, select repeat until end of the slide and press OK. Now select the second text box, from add animation select zoom. Set a start with previous, duration 1 second and this time we need to add a delay time that is 0.05 second. 
To add another animation on the second text box, from Add Animation, select Spin, set Start with Previous, Duration 15 seconds. Click on this drop down arrow, go to Effect option. As we have used counterclockwise for the first text box, we need clockwise for the second one. And from Timing, set it Repeat until end of the slide, press OK. We need to do the same for the third text box. From Add Animation, select Zoom. Set a start with previous duration 1 second and increase the delay time by 0.05 second that is 0.10 second. Let's add another animation on the third text box from add animation select spin. Set a start with previous duration 15 second. Click on this drop down arrow. Go to effect option. This time we need to set it 360 degree counterclockwise. From timing select repeat until end of the slide and place ok. For each text box we are using two different animations. First we are adding zoom with one second duration and then we are using another animation from emphasis section that is spin with 15 second duration. But for spin animation we need to make some changes from the effect option such as clockwise or counterclockwise and select repeat until end of the slide. So this is a very straightforward process. Since we are using same type of animations for each text box, we can use animation painter tool to copy and paste the animations from one text box to another and it can speed up the process. But in that case, still you have to increase the delay time for each text box animation by 0.05 second. I believe now you have a perfect understanding about adding animations to these text boxes. Now I will select these two circles which are in the center middle of our slide. From Add Animation, select Zoom, set Start with Previous, Duration 1 second and for the first animation I will set the delay time 0.20 second and for the second one I will set the delay time 0.30 second. Next we need to add animations on these hollow circles. Here we have 5 circles and holding control button, select all of them one by one. To animate these circles from add animation select zoom, set start with previous duration 1 second and remove the delay time. Then select the animation of the first hollow circle set the delay time 0.05 second. For the second one set it to 0.10 second. In this way we need to increase the delay time by 0.05 second for each animation one by one. And for the last one. Let's set it 0.25 seconds. This time we need to add animations on this group of wheel shapes. On each group we will add two different animations. Let's select the first group from add animation. Select fade. Set a start with previous duration 0.25 second. And set the delay time 1.25 second. We need to add another animation on this group of wheels. From add animation select spin which is under emphasis set a start with previous duration 15 seconds click on this drop down arrow go to effect option from here we need to select 360 degree counterclockwise from timing select repeat until end of the slide and press ok then we need to select the second group from add animation select fade set a start with previous duration 0.25 second to add another animation on this second group, from add animation, select spin, set start with previous, duration 15 second, click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option, make sure that it is selected clockwise for the second group cause we have set counterclockwise for the first one. Now from timing, select repeat until end of the slide and press ok. For the next two group of gear shapes, we can use the animation painter tool to copy and paste the same animation settings. Let's select the first one where we have added counterclockwise animation. Click on animation painter tool to copy and paste it on the third one. Then select the second group of gear shape where we have added clockwise animation. Click on animation painter tool to copy and paste it on the last group. We have added all the necessary animations, now holding the control button select all the hollow circles and the group of gear shapes, right click on it and select send to back. So finally our intro slide is ready with the animations, you can play it from the animation pane or in slideshow mode you can see all our text boxes and shapes are moving smoothly in a circular motion. You can download this animated powerpoint template for free. 
from our website powerpointschool.com. The link will be available in the description of the video. It can help you to find out the exact animation settings that we have used. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please consider to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can also support our work and get access to our premium templates by becoming our sponsor in Patreon. So that's all for today. I'll see you in the next video with another amazing PowerPoint tutorial. And thanks for watching.